I just thought I'd share with you some um, some thoughts I've had this week <coughs> when I've been reading my personal private uh, quiet study. Um, we'll be looking at Luke chapter 19 briefly. Just a very simple gospel message and <coughs> something which during the week, having uh, gone to the beach mission um, for the last five days, and seeing these young kids and being exposed to the sound of the gospel a lot of times, it's reminded me of the story of Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19. <clears throat> I'll just be reading the first 10 verses. Uh, I'll start from verse 1. So Luke 19 verse 1. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but he could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, <clears throat> for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. For he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be, to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I have given half, half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusations, I restore fourfold. Verse 9. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is the son of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. I'll read verse 10 again. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that, that which was lost. Um, just a few thoughts from this passage of Scripture. Um, I came out with these four eyes to kind of summarize this. And the first I, I, I have the letter I. The first letter I I have for you is impediment. So Zacchaeus had an impediment. Um, we read here that in verse 3 it says he was of short stature, so he couldn't see. But like Zacchaeus, we all also have an impediment, and our impediment is the issue of sin. And because of our issue of sin, we are separated from a God who is holy, a God who is righteous, and a God that cannot stand this issue of sin. The second eye I have for you is an invitation. Um, and Jesus gave made this invitation here uh, in verse uh, number 5. It says, And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste, for I'm coming to your house today. So that invitation was made by Zacchaeus. The third eye is that this invitation was immediate. It says, to, when Jesus said to Zacchaeus, he said he was coming to his house today, not tomorrow, not next week or next year. He said today. It's an immediate invitation. But the last I is an imperative in verse 10. Um, and this is just what I want to leave here. It says, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. I think it's um, very profound that we are all sinners and because of our sin we can't have that relationship with God. But for what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross of Calvary, for dying for our sins and saving us, um, and allowing us to have eternal life if we trust in Him. Um, I look back across the week where we had the beach mission down at Sandy Point, and the many people um, that we came into contact with, and the many people that were exposed to the sound of the gospel um, through both the kids' club and the gen youth. And it's been very encouraging to see a lot of people from this assembly, firstly, to take part in this work, um, and also a lot of um, contacts and a lot of new uh, people that we've met and a lot of people having interest in um, mm. attending something quite similar, uh, attending a church, attending a youth group, a Sunday school meeting, um, and many Bibles were handed out. So um, just for me, having that reflection across the week and seeing you know, the simplicity of the gospel to these uh, lost souls in Sandy Point, these people... Majority of them are on vacation from some parts in Melbourne and they'll come down to Sandy Point once a year or maybe they were just there for coincidence and they'll come through the doors of Kids Club and Gen Youth and to hear the sound of the gospel, how the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. You know, I look at myself and 
I think about when I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my own and personal saviour when I was the age of nine, 2009, March 17th at about 10 p.m. I still remember that time when I made that realisation that I understood that I was a sinner in front of a God which was holy and righteous and that because of my sin, I was heading for eternal destruction. But to put my trust in the Lord and to be forgiven from my sins and to know that the Lord is the one and the Son of Man has come to seek and to save me because I was lost. Um, I was a lost soul heading for a lost, um, lost eternity and a lost destruction. So yeah, just a few simple thoughts here on Luke chapter 19. And uh, please do continue to pray for um, the souls that were exposed to the gospel in Sandy Point. There's many names which um, Joey and I were discussing before, the different people that we got into contact with too. Um, but just continue to pray that the Lord would uh, work within their hearts as they're exposed to the gospel, especially those people that took Bibles um, the Lord would um, work within their heart for them to read Bibles and that the word of the Lord would be preached within their homes and that also would be very encouraging for, um, for us to see some of these kids potentially even coming to youth group or to Sunday school um, sometime during the term. So please do continue to pray for this work and um, I trust that the Lord will add some blessing uh, on the reading of his word.